Hello, theater addicts. I'm Celine DeBlanco. This is Keith Alessi and Erica Conway. I grew up in an immigrant household, an uh, Italian household, and tomatoes represent that household I grew up in. They were a constant, they were present. And banjos really represent the way and the method in which I finally ended up connecting with people on a level I never did in my childhood. I was a uh, very successful public company CEO who had a lifelong passion for banjos. And I finally decided to take those banjos out of the closet and learn how to play them, only to receive a deadly cancer diagnosis a week later. I took it on full on with a positive attitude with a sense of humor. I and mean, this is not a depressing show. Mm -hmm. These two young men came down after the show and they were tears rolling down their cheeks and they said, we didn't know what we were coming to tonight. We lost our dad two years ago to brain cancer. He was a banjo player. Mm -hmm. One of the volunteers in Edmonton, uh, who was a gentleman about my age, uh, came up to me afterwards and said, you know, I've been delaying taking guitar lessons. I didn't think I could do it and I'd never get any good. But now that I can see that, you know, you made pretty good progress in two years, I can do it, I'm retired. Be who you are, be where you're at, Don't be and that's beautiful. About Don't be apologetic about it. And there's beauty in the mess. And it's authentic, it's real, it's not depressing. They'll find it inspirational, it's funny. I think. It's there's got some, lots of funny parts. got some funny it, yeah. parts in there. There's, there's a metaphor there on top of the, the physical objects, but you have to come to the show to find how those tomatoes actually tried to kill them. <laughs> so if you want to find out how the tomatoes tried to kill them, Come see the show. Uh, there's no filter there. There's no interpretation. It's just raw.